I was hoping that changing location was going to help with the sound issues I've been having, but it did not. So I am recording this narration after the fact and adding it in. I have since cleaned the receiver on my phone, which is what I use to record. It's probably obvious. Um, so I think that's going to help and I'm going to test it out today by recording another video. You know, you would think that if I record and go test, test, test for a few minutes, that would tell me what's going on, but it surprisingly does not. Everything always seems fine, and then I go and record a whole video and the sound is messed up. So I did not want to re-record this entire video because this hairstyle is pretty challenging, especially to do on yourself. Uh, it's very exhausting on the arms, and it, it does take a while. I got this style from Cute Girls Hairstyles, which um, they kind of do like, they, I think they started doing like cheerleading styles and they do very, very intricate, precise stuff. So here we go. First thing is ponytail higher up on the head. And we're going to be using a sock bun form and I'm going to show you in a sec what how you usually use a sock bun form to do an actual sock bun, but the um, style that Cute Girls Hairstyles came up with is really creative, I think, in its use of the sock bun form, especially that you don't have to pin each section separately. You really only need one or two pins, and you'll see in a sec how that is. So, right, this is how you would usually do a sock bun. You'd put an elastic over it like that and then take the excess hair and braid it or wrap it or braid and wrap. But that's not what we're doing today. Today we're doing a series of little rope braids. So we're still going to spread it out just to give ourselves a sense of the room that we need, if that makes sense and then take a section and start rope braiding it, which means you twist each section the same way and at the same time twist it back the other way. You can see from the video what I mean by that. So I'm twisting each strand to the right and then the two strands over each other to the left. And you get the hang of this really fast. And then once you've got enough length, you're going to put your fingers underneath the sock bun form, and I'm just trying to make sure there that I'm actually in the frame. Um, so you put your fingers underneath the sock bun form and pull the actual braid through it, and then you've got the tail end of the braid coming back up the top, and you're actually going to use that bit in the next braid, and that's how you can do it without the pins. So take another section of hair and then divide the tail bits into it to make sure that you've got the short parts from the previous braid as well as the long parts of the new hair that you just took and do that together into a rope braid and you're just going to keep on doing that all the way around so I'm going to in a moment turn the video onto high speed so that you can watch it, but hopefully not be bored by how long it takes to actually do this. It is labor intensive and definitely made my arms super tired.
So there it is. The finished product is not as neat or visible, I guess, as the original that I was working from, but it's still pretty cool looking, and I wore it to my cousin's house, and everybody there was very impressed. I didn't say anything about it, and they were like, whoa, how did you do that? So we always like that in a hairstyle. Cute Girls Hairstyles is more willing to use things like hairspray and other stuff that us long hair fanatics usually try to avoid. Um, so I didn't use anything like that on it, but it just took the one pin at the end. You take that one last tail that you have and wrap it around and pin it in. All right, see you next time.